Okay guys, so before we get started, I'd like to announce some changes that are going to be coming to reviews. Uh, normally a review could be 20 to 30 minutes long. I realize not that many people have that much time to watch a video. So in order to streamline your experience and get to the point faster, these are the changes that will be made. Reviews will now be 10 to 12 minutes long. If for some reason that you don't want to watch the entire video, I'll be adding timestamps for you to jump to a certain spot with a single click. Now without further ado, here's my review of RBI Baseball 20. A lot of changes have been made to RBI Baseball 20 to seem more like a simulation experience, but it still manages to maintain the classic arcade baseball feel that we know and love. Pitching controls have been changed and now you'll be able to choose pitch types based on a real pitcher's repertoire and pitch success rate. Best example that I can provide is first you pick a pitch using the B button and then you cycle through pitches using the left stick. When the pitch is selected, locate the pitch Hold down B for the entire animation, but be careful because before you throw the pitch, you need to look at the confidence rating of that pitch, as that will affect your ability to locate the pitch properly. If that's too complicated, you can very easily revert to the classic settings in the options menu, but I've gotten the hang of it and I've really happened to like the new modern controls. Simple, yet complex, much like the game of baseball itself. While we're on the subject of pitching, added a new broadcast-inspired pitching camera, which makes you feel like you're watching an actual game on a sunny afternoon. Player models have indeed been improved and look more like their actual real-life counterparts and less like action figures. Your usual modes are here in terms of what you would expect from a baseball simulation. Franchise, exhibition, online, multiplayer, home run derby. If you're playing on the Switch like I am, however, and you don't have a LAN, LAN adapter, don't bother trying to play online. Now I'll get into my thoughts. As I stated in the overview for the controls, it's simple yet complex. While it is easy to pick a pitch and locate, it's not so simple in the terms of the execution. You need to be precise and you need to hold the pitch in place as you're powering up. And if you don't, the pitch will go anywhere but where you want it. This year's batting mechanics are great as well. Instead of moving around in the battered box and swinging and hoping to make contact, the default option is yet another simple yet <coughs> complex technique. The player must hold down B to power up their swing, and based on the player's contact, contact rating and timing of that swing, that dictates how far and how high the ball will go. If you just an example of this, with Mets shortstop Ahmed Rosario, if you power his swing all the way up, he's going to be more of a single and doubles guy rather than than a home run hitter because of his, his body build. Whereas if you power up a swing with Giancarlo Stanton and connect, well, you might as well put some postage on the baseball. Base running is simple this year, and I will dig into those controls right now. You select your base runner by pointing the left stick in the direction of the runner, and then you press the base button that corresponds to each base. Example, pressing B will send you home, and if you want to go to second, you press towards the runner and press the X button. As I said again, simple yet complex. 
presentation is where I feel this game lacks. RBI Baseball can do very well if they had a full commentary team to dictate the action. If not a full-blown commentary team, then someone to dictate whether it's a high fly, fly ball or various actions going on in the field of play. But graphics, I will say again, have been greatly approved. And you can tell for the most part who each player is supposed to be. Now on to the sound section, and this is where the review will be sort of short. There are only a few sounds in the game to speak of. When the ball hits the bat, the crowd in the stands, the ball strike and foul calls from the umpire. All these samples are pretty much cut and pasted from last season, so there's nothing <clears throat> really to speak of here. And this is what everyone came for. Is it accessible? Yes and no. But I will say it's vastly more accessible than Sam I'll be the show. But it was designed that way. As I said in my previous year's review, RBI was never meant to be a competitor to the show and should not be treated that way. However, I do feel like RBI, which is the little brother of the two baseball games, is going to take a backseat once Sony opts to, to take the show to other consoles as well, and that is slated to happen in 2021. How, though, overall though, if you can master the small nuances of the modern pitching and hitting mechanics, you should be able to get along just fine in this game. I want to thank MLB personally for sending me a review code of this game as this year's version is much more enjoyable than previous iterations and it's a must play if you don't have any other options. It's a fine pinch hitter if you're looking for ways to get your license baseball fixed if you don't have a PlayStation right now. I should add that this game is also on mobile devices and you can purchase it for $6.99 and the game on consoles retails at $29.99 and it's currently on PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. If you guys like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. But now I gotta go play some more RBI. See you later.